everybody. Welcome back to Weathering Rooms. I don't know what this accent is. It's kind of a shitty Sean Connery now. I don't know when it became that. Um, anyway, welcome back to Weathering Rooms. If you missed last week, we almost... Well, I don't know we almost cleared the Byzantine Labyrinth, but we did a lot of it. We cleared a bunch of the Byzantine Labyrinth, and we're almost ready to, to beat Chapter 3. I think. How many hours in at this are we... Is that, is that 16 hours? 16, 22? Seems about right. Weirdly, in my 20s, I could sleep till all hours. Now I wake up at standard at 8 a.m. My body sometimes gets me into, like, the the rhythm of trying to get up at, um, early again on my time off. Like, it'll be like, uh, you should probably wake up at fucking stupid o'clock because you do for work. And then I just go back to bed and then I'm good for, like, another three hours of sleep. Right, if you missed this last time, chat, we did a bunch of stuff. Um, a lot of it in service of our build. Which is to say, well, currently we're using these fucking swords because they're, like, consumable swords. But I found, like, loads of them. So it seems silly not to. Um, because they keep replenishing themselves. But in terms of our build, what do we have? We have, uh... A chromatic ring? Does that mean it's equipped? That means it's equipped. That, like, circle. So yeah, we have this chromatic ring that reduces loads of build-ups. Just seems good. Just seems like a nice-to-have ring. We may replace it one day. Uh, exquisite gold ring heals one point of cursedness every two seconds unless curse rotted is kind of facilitating my ability to use this. Which is, my dodge rolls now have a brief period of invulnerability to them, but I get two cursed damage every time I roll. So basically, this ring is allowing me to do that without being too worried about it. Um, we have this Knight's Ring, which is plus 30 melee damage, some shield durability, some poise, and then we have this ring we found in the Byzantine Labyrinth. Which we have upgraded a whole bunch. 10 poison resistance, 4 fire damage to melee attacks, which is nice. 40 max health, which is very nice. 23% extra melee damage, plus 3 poison impact to melee damage. So that's fucking incredible. And the only thing we get from it is minus 1 speed, a bit more, like, bleed tolerance, which is kind of already being offset by this anyway. Um, and minus 20% perception, which I don't know that actually does. I gotta be honest. So I don't care. Did this game start with you as a Victorian wife in the room of a small candle? Now you've got regenerating swords, a hat of yeehaw, and a pope's shoe. Yes. Well, we weren't a Victorian wife. We were a Victorian um, teenage girl asylum inmate. But now we're a teenage girl asylum inmate with a sword. Which is pretty sweet. Waif, not wife. Gotta be honest, Morbo. Don't know. Don't know the difference. It's a word I don't come across often enough to know the difference. If you'd have said that meant waifu, I'd have believed you. Right, I'm gonna go to the hag cell. This is where we played the fun drum and bass. So we've got stuff to do. We're, we're trying to clear... The Byzantine Labyrinth on Chapter 3, so that I don't have to do it again on Chapter 4. I think that is the plan here. Um, if you don't know chat, we have a map here. This is the house where all of the story happens. I can't go this way for some reason, it's blocked. Um, I believe my quest is basically done in the house and it's like right there, I need to go there. And hand something into the king, no here sorry, hand something into the king. Uh, but this whole area is like an optional challenge area, kind of, right? And it's, um, it's needing to be cleared. I can choose when to clear it, more or less, it seems. Um, if I want to, I could do it earlier or later, but, um, we didn't do it on chapter two. 
So now I'm doing it on chapter three. And there is a fourth chapter to this game. I think the fourth chapter might go a bit quicker, just by virtue of the fact that I'm not going to go back through the, like, replenished Byzantine Labyrinth unless I need to for some reason, like, unless something else is added there, but I don't think there is. From what I've heard about this game, like, you don't have to keep clearing it, it's just to get better items. And I feel like we're getting pretty good items already. I'm not super worried about it. Uh, if we go down here... I think we've killed everything around here. I think if I go down one from here, ooh, I can get a new friend. Check this out. Yeah, this is the right one. No, nope, that's the wrong one. Shit. Do I not have one? Yeah, it's this one. This is the one I need to make. Made the wrong one, chat. There we go. Now we have a now we have a new friend. I've added another member to my party. We just keep adding people to the party and then you know, eventually will be unstoppable. I think there's going to be enemies in this room, so... No, we've been here. This is Ancient King's room. We've done this. Yep, yep, we've done this. We need to go down... No, I'm going up! For fuck's sake, I've just realized I'm going up. It's okay. I believe we can go down from here. It's called a labyrinth for a reason, chat. Get lost in it. It doesn't help that following this map can be a little bit um, confusing at the best of times because all of the doors go up. Okay, here we go. Poison pits. Lost Gullible Ring, a strange forbidden ring imbued with a wide range of magical effects. Uh, projectile damage. Nah, we don't, we don't care about that ring. Okay, so we, we have another room over here. Okay. That guy had a flame for it. Right, boys, we're gonna get in there. No, we had a candle, sorry, not a flamethrower. This might be the time to bring out the gun. He's killed all my boys.
And my boys are down, boys down. But now he's dead. Okay. Great, he explodes. Did you know that, chat? Did you know he explodes? I didn't. Now I know. Uh, maybe I did know in a previous life, aka last week. Alright, my boys will not be forgotten. I will take their money on their carcasses and we will move on. Another one? There's nothing in here. King. Let me have a look at this beastry, see if there's like... Now I've killed one. Maybe there's... I hated this thing. I didn't like this thing either. Um... King's Eye. Old King. Corpulent. Doesn't have a lot of paralysis or bleeding tolerance. Do we have paralysis? Jars? That's acid. Acid must... No, that's paralysis. What the f fuck is acid all about? So here's the deal, chat. We throw this. We throw a second one. He gets paralyzed. We run up. We slash a couple of times. We hopefully stack the bleed on him. And then we let him bleed out. That's what we do. Mostly, anyway. I might, like, might shoot a bullet or two at him just to speed up the process. Eight or three, you might shoot three bullets. He explodes. That's good. He was supposed to drop fucking ancient blood, wasn't he? Lion bastard. Right, I mean, there's literally nothing in here. It was just a thing to fight, but I mean, he's he drops like good shit. But it wasn't like it wasn't worth fighting him. My poison buildup is slowly coming back down. Let's see if I can do some crafting while we wait for that. Because uh, I... Well, actually, I don't know if the crafting window even cares. Let's make an elixir jar. Why not? We have enough ancient blood that I could do that. Make a paralysis leaf. Uh, we'll make a couple more of these and a couple more of those. Why not? Let's also make... 5 harvest field spells which are heal over time while stood in an area This is now like where we need to finish off exploring but this area fucking sucks because of all the poison I'm pretty sure we killed everything that was in there there's nothing left to get in there. There was this NPC down here we spoke to. I already miss my boys, I gotta be honest. I miss my boys. I forgot this is a place where I played the drum and bass music. Like the drum and bass fill. If you remember from last time, it was like...
talk. No, nope. we already learned everything off this lady. Okay. She will let me redo my stats if uh, if I fuck them. But currently, I think we're fine. Right, we're going back to a poison pit again, according to this, so that's fun. I'm a little bit more... Um, willing to... go in and fight now, chat, because... Um, I... I heal off hits. So, like, I'm healing shitloads at the moment off these fellas. We have a vampirism build currently going. Jeppo, welcome. Howdy. What is up yourself? Clotted ring. Bleed tolerance, luck, speed, spell damage, cures poison effect once per minute. Okay. I mean, if we spec into spells, maybe, but the fact is we aren't, currently. I forgot. I forgot again. <laughs> God damn it. Why do I always forget? <laughs> like, fucking. I'm gonna get poisoned if I do that shit. Alright, well. That's fine. We're healing over time as well. The Night Mother Temple, you say? That sounds scary. Gotta be honest, I'm a little worried about the idea of that area. Alright, did some damage. Oh, fray the phrase, O oh, disciple, speak the words, is carved into the mirror's frame. Speak the words in the Night Mother's Disciples book. Uh-oh. Not right now. Let me just fully explore this little zone first. How about that? Is this... This is just going to be a boss fight, isn't it? But it's also a boss fight with no... No respawn, which is rare for this game. And maybe it isn't a boss fight. Maybe it's going to spawn the Night Mother and she's going to come in and be like, What's up, lady? How you doing? I'm big friendly Night Mother. This is a quest we have, though, so... A layer further, I guess. There's another layer to this. Shit. <clears throat> Jeppo says, Mail, is this game good? I'm really enjoying this game a lot. Yes. Read the Disciples. Oh, that is definitely a scary prospect, isn't it? <clears throat> o Disciple, leap unto the path. A shepherd must carefully observe the sheep, lest he forget how many remain outside the pen. 1. The Night Mother speaks to many. 
too, but only if you will follow. Free. Shun those who ignored her message. Four. Pursue those she did not speak to. This is a boss mirror thing. Or every welcome. Good time to join, yep. You have joined me as we are now in the blood dripping scary other place I've just found that I'm not particularly happy about. Is this like Resident Evil? Uh... In some ways, I guess. It's a roguelike horror game that um, is like side-scrolling. It's got some sort of Metroidvania elements to it, some Resident Evil elements to it. It's a, it's a horror like side-scroller, kind of. I was checking out that LTTP roguelike ROM hack that Vinny played. It was good. Shame a bad LTTP combat. Uh, Gonna need to narrow that down. Resident Evil's a lot of things these days, that's true. So, where the fuck are we? The Cholera Clinic. Or Cholera. I guess. I don't wanna be the Cholera Clinic. Why? It says there's an exit. But I don't seize it with my peepers. I don't seize no. No exit with my paper. <laughs> Quest. Follow where the Night Mother's Disciple book leads. Right, well, there's only two ways I know how to get stuff to show up when my eyes ain't working. That's raise my perception by being cursed. Well, I say two ways. That was one. I gave you one way. Timmy B, evening. Happy birthday. How you doing? I mean, I don't see it. Maybe I need to be like fully cursed? This is kind of scary getting fully cursed, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how to move in there. I don't know how to get, like, any further in it. Maybe I need to look this up. Just to, just to make sure I'm not being really stupid. Because I actually am out of ideas. Cholera Clinic. Withering Rooms. It's a good job I did look it up. How do you find the cholera, uh, cholera clinic boss? I assume it's supposed to be in the banquet hall. I don't know how to trigger it. The cholera, uh, cholera, cholera clinic, whatever boss, is part of the Night Mother quest line. You need all the Night Mother items and to have beaten the final boss. Talk with the NPC in the basement of the clinic to progress with the quest. So it's a new game plus thing. Chat, I might not do that. Just because I don't think we're going to be doing a second run of this game. It's quite a long thing. I don't know how much quicker new game plus is, but maybe that's something I do on my own time if I if I fancy playing the game again. But I, it's good that I found it, I guess. I just want, I guess, East stairwell. 
All right, I guess it's time for me to go and see the king. Now, if I remember rightly, the king wants me to be a nurse for some reason. Pervert, probably. Let's see. I think it says... Let's see, it provides moderate resistance and many damage type, but not terribly sturdy. I don't know if um, I have to have the hat on as well. It's like a nurse's hat. This hat is not necessary for those intending to masquerade as a nurse. It does boost resistance to the disease. Okay, so that's basically saying I have to wear this and not the hat. Oh, we can go talk to um, the guy in the workshop as well and get more bullet. I'm very happy with this um, vampirism build I've got going, so I'd like to keep the same gear I have. I'm almost out of swords, which is sad. Craft me bullet! I can't make any more shotgun bullets, I've used them all. And I've run out of gunpowder. I don't even know how to make gunpowder. Alright, I've got all the bullets I can carry. Um, right, to the throne room. Chat, this could be the end of chapter three. Haha, -ha, wonderful! That loathsome witch was stinking up my basement. Chat, just for uh, full clarity, what happened? I went down into the basement. There is a witch down there. Um, Josette, I think her name was. She's, um, very friendly. We had a letter for her that was trapped. Like, I had a spell on it that would have uh, evaporated her or eviscerated her or whatever. Um, so we, uh, we told her that that's what the letter would do. And she thanked us for giving her a warning, gave us some fake, like, witch remains. Basically, we went and got some spectral dust or whatever it was, or spectral ashes and she turned them into uh, fake witch remains to go take back to the king so that we can say that we, we got her. That's uh, the route we took. We could have just given her a letter and let her die. For your reward, I shall grant you a moderate amount of freedom. Behold the advanced wretch pass. With this, you can exit the back door of the mansion. We do have a final request of you. In the valley below the mansion, there's a pretender to the throne. A peasant has declared himself king and several witches in his thrall. Let him pretend. But I do care about one witch he has shackled. She is a creature of tremendous power and would be of great use to me. You'll find her chained up in the alley, although I suspect the false king won't make it easy. I've already done this, chat. Open this wretch teleportation spell in front of her and she'll be sent straight here. You'll be handsomely rewarded for your troubles. I haven't done that part of it. But I found a chained witch. Um. Given how he's been dealing with people so far, I have a feeling this wretch teleportation spell isn't going to teleport shit. And it's instead going to... Like, kill someone. Is there any way for me to, like, look at it? That's the advanced wretch pass. There it is. No, just says scroll. I might be able to tell the lady about it, though, before she uses it. And say, the king wants you to, like, turn up or whatever. And she'll be like, yeah, no, no, nah. I'm actually good on that. And I'll go, okay. Or I might have to do it, I don't know. Not actually too sure. Yeah, we've been we've been everywhere we can. There is no further out that way for me to go. It's just to the right. This is how we teleport around, by the way, chat. This is our quick travel. And 
So he wants me to go and talk to the hag. No, actually it's not the hag. I don't think. No, wait, no, it is the hag. Never mind. All right, yeah, the hag sells, like, that's about, I could have coin. Permanent prize hag sack, strange coin 25. Right, this, I get it. You give her five coin, essentially, to turn your coins into, like, permanent items. Spell of curse ring. Strange coin or first aid kit. I want to see if like there was one here that's gonna have. Yeah. Swords. This one has shotgun shells in it. So there's a sword and a shield in it. I'm kind of really liking the sword right now. I only have one left. This one's about to break. I mean, I have no option to, like, talk to her about it, and it's my only quest, so... Well, it's one of my only quests, so I guess I'm using it? Unless this is... No, wait, chained up! No, it is the other lady. This one isn't chained up. This is just some woman in a pile of garbage. That's two very different things. They're talking about this lady. This is the ring upgrader. Right, maybe I can talk to you then. This is the finger lady, the one who likes to collect fingers. Let's keep talking about fingers, only I'm working on something right now. We'll have to save more finger talk for another time. She's chained up. Intended for use on a chained witch in the valley. Wait, is this not the witch? Is this not the valley? Are we talking some? Oh, the valley might be to the right of the castle, even. Jesus fucking Christ. Or well, not castle. It's not a fucking castle, it's a house. The king calling it his castle or whatever has gotten me all confused. I found too many people chained up. That was the only one that I've seen that came to mind. Well, recently. So maybe there's someone I haven't found yet. Another chained up person. Alright, well... At least we know where we're going. Open up! Crucifixion Row. I'm very glad there is a candle here, chat. That does, however, mean we're probably fighting a boss here. The Grave Rider. Trespasser! I sentence you! As Christ was nailed to a cross, so shall you be. Broke my sword on the first hit. We're just healing up off every strike as well. And slowly putting the blood on him. I know that I'm actually going to, uh. He's gonna outpace me here, chat, but. The amount of damage we just did to him for free was ridiculous, so. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> uh, boss, you say? Ancient blood and organ grease. The other copy of me returned to his roots, the fool. I think had 700 HP. And we just, like, hit it until it died.
Body is too weak. Oh, do I need to be of a certain amount of health? I don't need this again, admittedly. But I'm gonna light it anyway. Just in case I like walk a little bit further forward and there's another boss. You never know. I highly doubt there will be, but I just don't want to go to the mausoleum or whatever it was, chat. As long as they don't make me go there, I'll be happy. This is nice. Lord Nobody of Nowhere. Oh, good evening. I'd introduce myself, but I really can't recall much of anything. I'm not even sure how I got here. However, one shouldn't let such trivialities bother them now, should they? I do have a few photographs in my pocket that I like to look at. Say, if you've got any photographs you'd like to sell, I'll happily buy them. If you're in need of a camera, I'll happily sell you one as well. I actually don't have any to sell. Uh, let's get directions first. To the west lies Mustin House, said to be grand, uh, a grand and beautiful place. Or at least it was. Now it's quite run down, I imagine. To the east lies St. Eli's Cathedral. I occasionally see the strange flashes of light emanating from the cemetery out front. Finally, down this steep path is the valley. There's a set of cottages down there that run along the Duern Brook. Deeper in the valley, you'll find the Twig... Guad Ruins. I don't know how you say that. That's very Welsh. The site of an old medieval castle. You can see pockets of flame down there, so do be careful if you visit the valley. Apparently I have a blood-stained letter for this guy. Kinda wanna look at it first, if I can, so I know what I'm giving him. So I don't see it on my list of items jumping out at me. Give the bloodstained letter to another butcher surgeon. Whatever, there you go. A letter for me? This nonsense, I can read it. It's it's my life history. One of the other iterations of me must have written down uh, this down when he could still remember. My name is... Thomas. I was a surgeon. This is a treasure. Truly a treasure. How can I thank you? You've given me my identity back. Oh, I know. Take this pocket mirror. It was given it by a young girl like yourself ages ago. I don't recall much about her. Been too afraid to look at it closely. It frightens me. Someone like yourself can surely find a use for it. Pocket mirror. You say. Small mirror originally owned by one of the butcher surgeons radiant with curse, en uh, with curse energy. By gazing deeply in it, one can be transported directly to nowhere permanent tool? You are shitting me! Well, that's just a. I've got like. instant teleportation now. I'm fucking Goku. Moonless, formless, etc., etc. Don't leave the room, idiot. That's what it says. Morning veil, permanent medium headwear. Less terror buildup. Okay. That sure is a big gun. I'm glad I'm remembered. Oh dear, another one. You're not the first of the Wretch King's spies to arrive at these holy doors. The answer remains firm. No access to the church. There's only one way I'll permit you in. Prove that you are a godly person through righteous combat. The rich king, uh, the wretch king's undead minions will soon start their nightly attempt to storm the church. Defend it against their attacks and you may enter. Oh. It's fucking like... 
It's like uh, Plants vs. Zombies or some shit. Yeah, shoot, yeah, shoot the gun. Just hammer, press the gun over and over again. Why do anything else? Just spam the gun button. Fuck off. Uh oh, that's not good. We don't like that. Wow, insta poison, you say? I just gotta hit him, chat. Let's gotta ignore what he's doing and smack him. And then heal when I need to heal. Old sword broke. Great. I wonder if I should start working using the bayonet. Because it's kind of like the old sword. Plus four. Less poise damage. Who's that big fun guy? Yeah. Can't be used when suffering from poison. Isn't that exactly the time when I should use the poison? Like the thing that poisons you and heals you? What are you talking about? That's a big boy. That's one of them big boys. They're fucking scary. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did it. Yay. You, have an, you indeed have God's favor. You may enter St. Eli's Church. Additionally, I'm in dire need of organ grease to keep my mortal frame from falling apart. Perhaps we could trade. Old sword for organ grease. I don't know if that's worth it, but... To be honest. I mean, I guess I'll take one just to see if that does anything special. But I didn't mean to do that. Hi. I don't know if I should continue down this way or if I should be going up into the valley. This way might give me another teleport point, though. Eli's foyer. This better not be, like, full of enemies and shit, because it's supposed to be... He was all, like, friendly. And I can't peek anything. Apparently, I'm no longer able to peek. Another? Fucking... Really? Oh, man. It dog in there! I 
I got two extra remembrance slots. I can now remember some other stuff potentially. I don't really know if I have much I need to remember. I guess it's better to have more remembrance slots than not, but like I guess I could remember these, the charms, because they're just permanent upgrades passively applied without me needing to equip anything. Oh, now I can peek. Cannot open from this side, okay. Church Bell Tower. Followed you and Margaret onto the cable car. What a strange future, eh? I'm a king. Somehow I always thought I'd be like a... Like Trajan the, the Nero. More like Trajan the Nero. Power corrupts, I suppose. Came here looking for the source of that annoying bell, but the bell has been stolen. We'll look off to the east. What in the love of fuck is that? Robert Blackett's paradise! The magical preservative powers of blood writ large. Great bloody tower. Uh, Ani Neuwer, welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome back. How you doing? You've joined me just as I'm looking at this weird bloody tower. Um, playing some XCOM. I hope your 99% chances to miss, sorry, hit, didn't miss. That's what I meant to say. But welcome. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome in Raiders. Meat fountain. Mail. I'm sorry. The first thing they saw was my message. Good, good. Very good. Bloody wall indeed. But yeah, I uh, hope XCOM went well. Hope you had a good time. And thank you very much for bringing the... Uh, in your community, you always appreciate it. So the bell is at the top of the bloody tower. And we reach it. And where I can see is through the church. First witch has taken up residence in the main chapel of St. Eli's. Seems to have lost her mind, but I bet the way to that bloody tower is through her. Well, I guess we know where we're going. Wait, hang on, have I got more? I've got, still says I've got an item in here. Right, it was really dark downstairs. I'm slightly worried about that. We think the red door is. Never mind. Metal door has no handle. Well, I guess we're not going through there anytime soon. Well, in terms of this area, the only continuation we've got is this way, which is a boss fight for sure. Not too many 98% misses. My soldiers were not good enough yet to get those numbers. Oh man. <laughs> I guess I want to go this way. So now we have the bell. Find the chained witch, some, uh, chained witch somewhere in the valley is our next quest, which is in here. This is dark in here as well. Fucking hell, man. Too dark. I don't like it. Oh, there's the derelict cottage, apparently. I'm barely ever using this uh, to block, so let's put the lantern on instead, shall we? You friendly? <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's just like reading a book. I kind of feel bad. Like, I'm the asshole here. Oh. No, 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 no. He's got a gun now. Now he has a gun and I'm poisoned. Jesus Christ, dude. Do you ever heard about fucking trigger discipline? Kill him! Oh, there's another one. Village token. A token minted by the king of the valley smells strongly of blood. Used by residents of the valley below Mostyn House as a currency. Made the coins and showed them the idol. Uh, to the idol, as you asked. Now where's the witch you promised me? As long as you're not fished. Oh no. Please no. Now the house has spread its rotten influence to the valley below. Heavy legless zombie. That thing just explodes. Swelled up with foul gases. Ooh. You fucking for real, game? I'm about to die. Jesus Christ, man, there's so many enemies here. The hell is this? Right, this guy is sustaining me over time here. Why he fought? He's about to jump at me. Off. Wait, don't explode. Okay, we're good. All right, that was a lot of enemies. But, I mean, we managed, so... Moldy cottage. With something in it. I don't know what. There's an enemy in there, though. Oh, boy. Thing. I can only assume I pulled all the enemies over to me because I used a loud weapon. But that's that's what I assume has happened. Otherwise, if there's still just tons more enemies in this area, there's there's a lot to deal with here. Drafty cottage. Okay. I need more village tokens. Feel like we'll get them pretty shortly here. I haven't looked at all this stuff I'm picking up, chat. I'm picking up like grenades and shit. Got firework. I think I've been picking up some heals. Silla's ring. I'm not very fair. I had that before. I'm still in my nurse gear.
No wonder I've been taking more damage. The big boomers, indeed. They're going to come in very handy when I need to deal with a, a room full of people. Although I've only got one, so. This is the lively cottage. How lively are we talking? Uh oh. Beautiful gold ring said to be owned by Robin Hood himself. Alfred, you've completely lost your marbles who have paid that much for an old ring. Robin Hood is about as real as your thriftiness. You might be thinking, why he run up on them like that? I don't want to get shot, that's why. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Chat, I'm going to use the most useful item in the game. You ready? And I totally mean that sincerely, obviously. <laughs> I think there's something over there, maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know if I want to climb down. I feel like it's lively with people I don't want to deal with. Probably. Oh, never mind. No, this is great. Oh, hell yeah. You found the speakeasy, yep. Can we get a... <laughs> can we get a Maelstrom remix? What do you mean, like last week? This one does have its own percussion, though, which kind of gonna like make it hard to do. Yeah, it doesn't really work, does it? There's too much like going on in the background. You girl like games? Spin a wheel! Win a prize! Oh my god, I found the gambling. Oh, it's beautiful. I need to go and uh, do my post stream stuff. You all take care, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the stream. Only thank you very much for the raid again. Much appreciated. For the return raid as well. Um, chat, if you haven't done so, you should give them a follow. And uh, you go take care of yourself after stream and do all the VOD stuff and all that. I, I understand completely, but thank you for hanging around for a little bit. Always appreciate it. Uh-oh. Yeah. Spin the wheel and win a prize. A grand prize today is a weapon upgrade kit. Oh, that's pretty good. Land on skull, get nothing. Land on gift, get a prize. Land on coin, get your money back. Land on two coins, get double your money back. Land on crown, get brand grand prize. Very good. Land on knife, I cut you and make you bleed. Oh. 25 coins? Let's go. Come on! Ooh, double coins! Play again. Well, this one is just a free spin at this point. Play again. Now we're back to where we started. Uh-oh. Well, this is not so good. Ow. Danger! They said danger. Like, one hit kill danger, but I, I obviously didn't die. I have, like, a thing where I heal over time, and it just instantly healed me. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe I'm fine. Chat, I'd like that upgrade kit. I gotta be honest. How many more coins have I got? Let's, let's just make sure I'm not, like... Because I've got nothing, really, to spend money on. Currently. I got 290 coins, chat. 
Let's just check uh, this guy doesn't want to sell me stuff for current. A rat's got in. Just kidding, child. Anyone with a bit of coin to spare is welcome in Duffin's pub. You're a bit young for the good stuff, but I'm sure you'll find something you like. My mind was half rotted. I could barely think straight. Then something most strange happened. I woke in a dark room. There were strange sounds, machinery. Occasionally a woman's voice would speak to me and there'd be a great pain in my head. After a few, a few weeks, my mind felt shiny and new. Dug out some of the masonry and made an escape. I wound up in this village and started fresh. Yeah, this is the guy we killed at the start of the game, like who was a zombie and he had a key stuck in his back, I'm pretty sure. Here my brother Albert found himself a job down in the Byzantine Labyrinth. He was always such a sanctimonious wet rag. Oh, Daffid, you can't drink the Mostyn family wine. Oh, Daffid, you forgot to set the traps again. Oh, Daffid, stop spying on the maid through that window. If you run into him, just tell him I'm a zombie. Well, yes, I suppose I'm actually still a zombie. I mean, one of those mindless shambling ones. I hear somebody carried that red-eyed idol through the valley one night a few years ago. It brought the whole village into the dream. Why do I stay here despite it being so unpleasant? Sure, most of the residents are rotting and crazed. But Bruce over there can still play the piano. When a wretch king's men come down from the house, we have a great bloody battle. All the while, Bruce plays a stirring arrangement of... Rivelrich... Rivelgerch... Cap Den Morgan. You won't find it anywhere else in the dream. This man's living his best life. I appreciate that. Second Charms Brooch. We need one more village token for that thing, but you know what? I'm probably fine on it at the same time. Because, um... Wait, this guy's all out of shotgun shells? Why? I haven't bought any of you. I haven't got any shotgun shells, do I? Pretty sure I'm out of shotgun shells. Yeah, I'm out of shotgun shells. I've got empty cartridges, but I haven't got any shells. Son of a bitch. Right, we've got like 290 coins, chat. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna absolutely play this and, for like, until I'm down to about half of that. If I don't get the prize before then. Never mind, I got the prize. Great! You're very lucky today, you win the grand prize. Well, never mind, we're done. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to play the thing over and over again until I have enough money. Oh, I have enough money. Or rather, the item, I guess. That's what I meant. You know what I meant. Another creepy doll. Well, that's a boss. Good to know. Let's go finish um, clearing out these drafty cottages, shall we? Drafty moldy cottages. Oh, this has got another down. I don't think this is going to be a friendly down. Alright. <laughs> this went back up again. Golf. This lady sucks. Vomit zombie. Cholera patient. 
Give her a give her a head a nudge with your shoe. See? She's absolutely full of that sludge. Give her a, a head. Flesh ring. Should have had the flesh ring about eight times. This is the other side of Daffid's pub. Wonder if he knows that lady was in there. What do you reckon this sinister looking light means chat next to this treasure chest? Absolutely nothing. Although I do apparently still have something left to oh is this is what I can search. That's what the sinister light was. Well then. Yuffie zombie. What well, vomit? I have an extra remembrance slot now. Do I want to remember anything? remember this. It's pentagram. Good if I run into a curse boss. We're almost out of sword, but we do have second breakfast. Which is to say we have another sword. Um, which I can use instead, the bayonet. The enemy in here is to the left. Yeah! Fuck you, we both poisoned, idiot! You deserve that. It's what you get. Coin my own again now. 349 coins, 40 ancient bloods. Oh my god, I've got so much stuff. I've got like seven of these coin purses. 26 more coins, another coin purse. Golden pentagram. Amulet in the shape of a pentagram made from gold, plus 15% max health, plus 15% max curse tolerance, and then 35% bleeding poison paralysis resistance. You can only equip one amulet, which means this one is like never coming off because it heals me one point every three seconds and gives me 15% more melee damage. Basically, why would I ever remove it? We got another downstairs? No downstairs. Notice how we don't hide anymore. It's interesting, chat. When you first start the game, there is like a um, much bigger focus on the stealth and then very quickly the stealth becomes like pretty redundant because uh, you just like get seen all the time. The enemies are a lot smarter and you can't rely on it anymore. Which I actually kind of like. Kind of like that it wasn't a stealth game the whole way through. And I, I kind of like that they made you feel powerless in the start that you needed the stealth.
Right, so this has got a um, a mirror in it, which is very good for me, because I can use that to port back here. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Chat, there's a thing here to... There's blood here for some reason. There is a thing here to revive yourself. Which is not active. There is a second thing here to revive yourself, which is not active. They've all been smashed. These, like, enemies all strung up. Oh, man. So is this, like, showing the Night Mother, like, how powerful they are for a start? They've, like, mounted a bunch of the enemies in the game up on the walls and cut off their arms and stuff. But also, additional to that, this is fucking creepy, man. They also have smashed all the mirrors which allow you to revive. I think this might be like um, telling a bit of a story here, chat, in the sense that uh, we beat the Night Mother. Like, we, we killed the Night Mother on one of the nights, and I guess, you know, we wouldn't have been able to do it, to be honest, if it wasn't for one of these. So as far as I'm concerned, this is like a... Uh, direct thing where it's like... She she pissed. She pissed that you killed her. And you used cheats to do it. She ain't happy about it. You wouldn't beat the night mother during the day, that would be mean. It's a very valid point you make. Now I think about it. Let me just have a quick look at these these amulets. This is the Curse Tolerance plus Spell Damage one. This gives just a little less Curse Tolerance. But then, like, this one, other than the Cures Poison status effect every minute, gives the exact same amount of Poison Resistance plus a load of other stuff. I should forget this one. A Pentagram of the Flesh? We don't need that. I should not remember that, and I should instead remember that. Because it's just better all round. I have a weapon upgrade kit. Chat, this is a whole mechanic I haven't even in like interacted with. I can talk to this guy, pay him a little bit of coin, and he'll respawn the knight. Respawn all the enemies, reshuffle all the locations, um, as if you died, but you didn't so you get to keep all your stuff. The idea being that you can kind of get part of the way through a night, come here, reshuffle the night, be able to get more items. I just, we haven't used it. Honestly, haven't really felt the need. Oops, a more spell time. You don't have anything that I want to buy either. Nine organ grease. Another level up. Violent. I'm feeling violent. Now level 24. What do we need? 10 more? I can absolutely do 10 more. Right. 
do I want to be defensive with this, maybe? Get, like, extra health or fortitude, a bit of bleeding tolerance and poise. Or do I keep upping the violence? It's just more damage. Agility could also be good. I don't feel like I'm needing for health and stuff right now. Killing things quicker. There we go. Chamber is not powerful enough for now, so that's all the leveling done for that one. Good, good, good. Alright, I guess we go back to the creepy Night Mother Cottage. Oh wait, no, no, no. What am I doing? There's uh, there's someone here who can upgrade my weapon. Seeing as I'm almost out of sword, I should absolutely upgrade my bayonet. I've gotten too used to the bayonet now. I don't want to use the whip. Well, I say I've got too used to a bayonet. I've gotten too used to these old swords, which control very much the same as the bayonet. Just the old swords break, but do more damage. So if I can upgrade the bayonet to do similar damage, then that would be great. I can also buy more bullet. No? Maybe I can't buy more bullets. I can buy one shotgun shell. No, two. Two shotgun shells. Yeah, I guess. We load them in just in case. Um, I would like you, sir, to upgrade this. So it's nine. And it's going to go up to 10 for heavy. That's good. So these are currently 12 plus 22. This is now 10 plus 17 on the heavy attack. That's pretty good. The old sword's light attack is fucking ridiculous, though. And the poise is way better. But, you know, it's nothing to be sniffed out on this bayonet. <clears throat> I'm hoping maybe we'll find a better weapon with time. By the way, this thing is a fucking game changer. I no longer need to, like, curse myself to teleport around. It's very helpful. I really don't like the music in here. Like, I mean, it's cool. Like, I like it in that sense, but I don't like it as if it's scary. This is safe. The East Forest Dock. Good evening, miss. You can call me the Boatman. As a member of the Merry Band, I'm often engaged in activities of the treasonous sort. Being so, I can't rightly be giving an actual name to every lost girl who comes upon my dock, yeah? Or my actual name. We have no missions underway right at the moment, so I'm free to take an extra job or two. Would you be needing a boat ride somewhere, miss? Yes, the boat is a bit small, but so is the Dewan Brook. Any bigger and we wouldn't be able to make it around the first bend. Sell a boat pass. It's a one-time fee and I'll take you where you need to go at any night. Once you've got a few necessary supplies, you'd be, you'd be running low. Seems like you've found a map. I recognize the spot. It's an old abandoned church. Once you buy a boat pass, I can take you there. Boat. Tad passed it. Entitled the holder to unlimited passage between Juan Bog Dock and East Forest Dock. Denizens of the valley prefer to take the boat to the Cagewood Circus, as the bog is filled with ghosts and monsters. There are no mirrors in the valley west of the bog, so those coming from nowhere also make regular use of the boat. Now that you got a boat pass, I can take you on a ride. I'm going to take you on a ride! Do -do -do -do. So let me know when you're ready. 
Can I stand here and let you know I'm ready so that I can get a better view of your character? No. Bet you thought I'd be rowing! Josette, the basement witch, traded us this creature some time back. She says a whole group of them were found in the deepest level of the Byzantine Labyrinth. They followed her around like a flock of ducklings, not a fuck. It was a noble thing you did, saving Josette. I thought so too, I thought I did a good thing. Look at that, we're nearly arrived. Now where am I? What do you mean? This game keeps getting bigger. <laughs> Every time I feel like I've like explored everything, they go, nope. Here's some more. Fucking hell, man. Cagewood Circus Entrance. Okay. Apparently there are no mirrors here, so I'm not going to be able to teleport quickly back to this area. This has probably got enemies in it. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting the, like, the amorphous blob to go, oh! Kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. Goffle your big flies, you wanker. Say naughty girl. That's kind of fucking creepy. Fly keeper. The repugnant man permits maggots to feast on his boils. They metamorphose into a shockingly large fly. Great, I love that. Oh wait, sorry, I meant I don't. I hate that. I always get those two things confused. Big and scary chat, he's doing a lot of damage, he's doing a lot of damage. Perfect time for this. He says? Why is it... Is it only gonna heal me if he's here? I thought it was the whole fucking screen. Right, I don't want to die, so I'm going to, like, pop a heal first, but I'm still going to run in and try one of these. Bait and attack. Get in there. Pop this. Get out. <laughs> no! Heal! No! You stupid... Fucking far. Chat, that resets the map. 
I don't know where anything is anymore. I mean, that's kind of what's supposed to happen in this game. Like, a lot. You know? But, fuck me, man. That just undid so much of this night's progress. Gotta fight everything again. I mean, at least I can kind of like forget about this area now. I'm more or less done here, except for the king, which I'd have to go talk to again. Um, I guess the bog area. This is where the flamethrower guys were, right? Oh, that's a scythe guy. Slightly different. Wow, he dropped 24 fucking coins. Sure, there is a flamethrower guy in here. Well, there was last time. There was definitely a bad guy down here. It's like some twat who was throwing magic at me, but I guess he's not here anymore. A hey, street, welcome. Dies quick enough. Don't have the key for that anymore, I guess. That wasn't a permanent key. Ugh, oh, Pastry, you just missed my second death of this entire game thus far. Give me your, your jar, thank you. Um, which reset the entire fucking night. So you've actually missed nothing of uh, chapter three because <laughs> I'm doing it again. Should be a lot quicker to get back to where we want to go, though. Sort of. Because if I want the uh, all the good stuff, I also still need to clear a bunch of rooms out and kill people. This could be a great time to bring him, actually. Seeing as he's, uh... Seeing as we've just reset and he'll help clear this area out, this could be a great time to bring this guy. Come on, Edgar. I think you need to turn around, Edgar, then my duck. Tell me to fucking duck. How about you look around and pay attention to your surroundings? I forgot they jumped. We need a. Uh... 
camera for that. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> These guys died in like the exact same spot. All right, okay. We got some ammo. That's good. My man got hurt, but he's doing okay. I mean, we are like getting back up to a, a pretty good spot with like the gear already. Like, if I look at my stuff, I'm already back up to a decent number of bullets. Healing's okay. Money is good. Like, we're actually doing okay. Considering I just had to restart. We're missing a lot of jars, mainly. More than anything else, I think. Which I can live with. It could be worth. I can hate these things, they take two shits left. He always says only two kits left, unless he, like, fixed himself, now I died, which he might have done. But last time we summoned him, or we brought him along, he was just, like, healing himself for 80 times and was like, only two kits left. So, mate, you are definitely out of kits. At this point, you're fucking cheating. I feel bad for the enemies. Alright, don't get hit by the trap, Edgar. Let's see how you handle that. He just, he likes the runes, you know? I appreciate that to some degree. He's like, oh yeah, love it. Oh, lovely day, cool. You twat, I'm not throwing it at you, I'm throwing it past you. Get the tonic. That's a secret room. But I don't know if there's actually anything in here. I think it's just practicing. Down. Down. God, he's so charismatic, chat. I don't have a shot. Such a fucking twat. <laughs> I don't have a shot. Literal not moving target dummy. He appears to be in the floor. I don't know what's happened to him. Alright, I need you to craft. First off, bullet me up. Now, secondly, give me some shotgun shells. Okay, that's apparently already loaded. There's only two. Are you invisible now? Is that what happened? How's your fight over there going? One kit left. Oh, he's only got one kit left. Yeah, so he's using his kits this time. Alright, I don't want to test this. I think I need to be a nurse or the king will be angry.
Kniff. Okay, I actually feel, like, relatively okay about where I've gotten to with my my gear and such. Like, I could definitely do with a little bit more healing. But I'm not, like, in a terrible spot. Um... Yeah, I think we're, I think we're doing fine. Which means I should just be able to go straight to the area we were previously in. Before I grab like everything from these easy rooms, though. I really don't like the look of this. Yeah, I have no intention of going in there. That is not happening. Same with that, I don't think I needed to be at the balcony. Alright, he's gonna fuck off here, he doesn't continue any further. Goodbye, Edgar. So long. Farewell. Do I have to redo the boss? I actually don't know. Like, I kinda hope not, but maybe I do. Doesn't appear to be the case. Hello again, I died. Yeah, you can you can have this. Which should mean I don't need to regain this guy's trust. We should be Gucci. Yeah, we're, we're good. And I definitely don't have any organ grease for him. But I can get a bunch of items from in here for free, so we should do that. This is the boss. handle. Okay, you know what? As long as, like, you have a area you need to go, you can get back to a pretty, like, good state very quickly in this game. So even dying isn't really that punishing. Which is just as well, because I really wish I hadn't died. <laughs> There's a still a question mark here saying I haven't searched something. Oh, what is it? Oh, no. Maybe there was a second item on that. Hello again. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing important. Alright, well, I'm done with that. Like I say, we've gotten to the end of that little segment with, um, like, realistically, quite a lot of stuff. we got full ammo on that. We're actually better off on ammo than we were here. We've still got a grenade. We don't have much left-hand equipment, but that's okay. I barely ever use it. We're doing okay on healing. We've got four big heals, six of those. We've got four of those. Um, Amulet-wise and ring-wise, I'm not actually that worried about the rings I lost, because I keep all the ones that I want anyway. Money, we're back up to 141. So, yeah, I think, um... 
I think we're okay. I think we're doing just fine. In the grand scheme of things, considering we died, that could have been a hell of a lot worse. Now, I could go to the left and clear all those enemies out again, but I kind of don't want to yet. I want to go to the bog first. I feel like if I'm going to, like, potentially die again, I don't think I will, unless, you know, I really fuck it up like I did last time. Um... I should be okay. So I should just go back to the bog and continue exploring the bog. This guy is pretty nice because he's selling stuff I'm missing. That's going to make my life a hell of a lot easier actually. That was actually really good that that guy sells all that stuff because now I can sit and craft a whole bunch more health tonics. I can also craft some acid jars. I could, if I want, craft the harvest field spells. I guess I have enough to craft three of those. I might as well. Travel west. Oh, I guess I don't need... Interesting. Um... I guess I don't need to buy the boat pass every time. That's like a one and done bought. Maybe this time I should check out the, the circus, seeing as it's a safe zone. Alright, I didn't take that long to get back to where we were. It was about 10 minutes ish of running about to get back to uh, normality. Where's my button? Kill Jester. Good evening, lass. Do you want to see the freaks in cages? Do you want to partake in games of skill and chance? Do you want to see the amazing Edgar? Or do you want to wander around a spooky forest filled with cages for the rest of the night? The choice is yours, lass. For the low price of 100 coins, a limited entry to the Cagewood Circus is yours. But I just so happen to have about 100 left, so... Enjoy. I'm a fucking clown. Don't, don't, don't. I found my home, chat. can't keep making that joke. Like, it's good. It's a good bit, but I can't keep doing it. Welcome to Cagewood Circus! Y'all need circus tickets for rides or games. If you win any prize tickets, you can redeem them here. Well, I spent all of my money buying entrance. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Oh no! <laughs> no! Not like this! <laughs> I can't. I, I need the vampirism on my build. That's actually really good. I want this. Dog whistle. An old whistle enchanted to transport Horace the dog to nowhere. After his previous owner's mind rotted away, Horace was taken in by a witch. She trained him to bark at ghosts, illusion, and hexes. Whenever Horace is gravely injured or hears the whistle, he is safely returned to nowhere. I'm gonna get a dog. I want a dog. And see a spin of the prize wheel, it's... Two tickets. Okay. 
Fancy gazing into the mysterious mirror. The mirror will show you different numbers, and, that'll, and then tell me when to stop. We'll add each number that you stop onto the score. The closer you get to 21, the more prize tickets you win. Land on 21, it's 10 prize tickets. You go over 21, you get nothing. Okay. I mean, we're going to have to come back here with some money so I can get some prize tickets. Because I don't got no fucking money. How about a ride? Checking a free prize ticket. Oh, I don't have the I don't have the clown tickets. I have clown tokens, all right? You'd think being one of me, they'd cut me some slack. Think that's tough? Why not see how much damage you can do to this here mannequin in 30 seconds? Higher score, more prize tickets you get. Well, that seems like a potentially very easy one if uh, if you do enough to earn over the tickets. Come to see the show, lass. With a pleasure and excitement, we're proud to present the amazing Edgar in Clowns of Verdun. See a painstakingly recreated trench from the front lines. See our very lo own local hero, Edgar, survive a German clown onslaught. <laughs> it doesn't get any more real than this. Oh, I want to see that. I'm resting up for the show. Come see me after. Chat, this is the fucking guy who was running around the, uh... The house with me earlier going, oh, nice room. That's him. That's Edgar. He's now working at the circus. I cannot believe there is a clown world. It's just where it's just the world we live in. I don't know how to leave the clown world. I actually would quite... Oh, there's... Is that Horus? Oh, they put Horus in a little cage! We need to get that dog whistle, chat. Break him out. I hate these magic women, but because I'm close, maybe I can stop her from casting a magic. There you go. Oh, wait, no, this is something different. Aborted experiment? Upon their escape, they got their revenge in the form of the cage wood. Did they now? Good revenge. Got fucking sliced up by a lady with a sword. Don't fucking die again. Am I bleeding? No more. <laughs> nah. Nah. Not right now. The Blackett House? Oh my god. The game is so big. Like, I mean, I'm glad. Because it's, it's good. But... I thought we were like... Almost done. We're, we're nowhere near. Oh, that's no fun. Oh! Horse. Lost horse. Must have been a beautiful creature in its prime. Chat, horses kind of creep me the fuck out, I'm not gonna lie. 
Well, not creep me, that's wrong. They scare me. Like, I'm not, like, scared of horses, like, I'm gonna, like, run away if there's a horse in the vicinity type scared. But they're just, like, they're... They're raw power. They're raw muscle. And then they just freak out. Sometimes. We found Lynchy. Oh, no. Nah. And then they die. That this cage would stand as a monument to the collective rage of the formerly initiated at their ghastly treatment. In this forest, 100 guilty men have been bound to cages. May all who pass through remember what was done and the mad souls that remain to this day in Blackett House. I would like to go to Blackett House. I gotta be honest. I'm very intrigued by that as a um, location. However, I feel like it's going to get real in here. Oh, shit! I don't even need to make my own joke. This one comes with the joke. A machine for powering the residence with electricity. Missing an electrical generator. I don't got one of them. Okay. Oh, the fucking beat is good. It's a good beat. Well, I guess I can't go to the Blackout House. It's fucking locked. So much for that. It's got sick music in the Blackout House, though. Do I want to try and fight this lady in the cave? Is she going to be, like, scary? Strong? She looks... mean. Okay, she didn't actually do that much damage, but... She got a lot of health. Horse girl! In the image of the Night Mother, she was made by his earthly hands. Horse... Girl. Oh, I'm out of fucking bandages again. How am I doing on money now? I'm working. Got way back up, right? 56. I think the clown show token or whatever the fuck is like permanent like the entrance to the clown house or maybe it isn't I actually don't know oh maybe it's not permanent that's the opposite of what I want I really don't want to bleed. Okay, there we go. We're good. All good. At least they drop bandages when they die, so it's like... kind of offsetting the fact that they make you bleed. How many of these creepy ladies are going to be in this cave? One more. Spear lady. There you go. Yeah. Holy shit, she did fucking kung fu or something. This one learned some shit. She was like, I watched the other ones get fucked up and I know how to deal with you now. Just kung fu. Okay. 
Let's use a first aid kit. That will heal the bleeding as well. Alright, what's in here? Is that it? Coin? Stupid. Unlock the, with the labyrinth something something key? What key? Labyrinth market key? What key was it? Maybe it was. Is this a fucking boss fight? <laughs> oh no! Skeleton wearing a soiled green cloak and a horse skull mask. Take the outfit. Night Mother mask. Horse skull mask favored by devotees of the Night Mother. One of the Night Mother's instruments. Labyrinth organ chamber upgrade. A rusty set of copper pipes and a schematic for improving the Byzantine labyrinth organ chamber allows the user to harden their blood of ancient blood. Uh, harden their body of ancient blood an initial f additional five times. That's actually great. That's wonderful for me. I guess this wasn't a boss. A little confused as to what the deal was with that. Basically, any time I've seen those candles, more or less, it's been a boss. So... I guess that's time that one. Right, well, we've now gone through the cage wood. Now we have money, chat. We can go to the circus. Isn't that good? Boop, 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 boop. Let's start with ten tickets, shall we? How many tickets to ride? I get a free, a free prize ticket for one ticket. Let's do it. Yay! Look how much fun I'm going to have. There I am. Look, I'm enjoying myself so much. Wow. This guy's coming over to have a look at me riding. Here's your prize ticket. Thank you. Right, one doesn't get me bug a fuck all. Five will get me a teddy bear, which is not bad. It's 15 and 25 for the full clown gear. Oh, God. 20 for the dog whistle, which I'd really like. And I'd like these as well if I can get them, but currently we don't have a lot of cash. I want to try this. He was like, if you can do a bunch of damage to this thing, then... I actually don't know. I think light attacks might be quicker here. If I get more than, like, a couple, it's worth it, probably. This is no chance, either. A score of 998 gets you some prize tickets. 10. That's a lot of prize tickets for... But not a lot of work. I can clear this place out, I think. Potentially. Um, let's try the other games, though. Alright, what's this? Spin the wheel? Here we go! Spin the wheel! Three price tickets. Alright, let's try this. Yeah, yeah. You've got zero. Next number. Landed on a free. Brings it to free. This is just blackjack. Six. 
5, 11, next. 5, 16. We stop. Four prize tickets. It's like shit blackjack because you're not playing against anyone. Can we get the dog whistle? I think we can. No, we're short by two. Alright, hang on. I need... I need at least that many. But probably more. Because we want just the show as well. I think the show is five, right? Yeah, let's watch the show. Please take thy seat. The show will begin momentarily. Ladies and gentlemen, we take you now to Verdun, France. Our hero Edgar has just learned a shocking fact. Jerry has sent a troop of deranged clowns into the trenches. Hang on. I can do this better. Can Edgar hold them off until reinforcements arrive? I'm Edgar, I think. Wait, am I? No, he's doing this himself, chat. I'm just watching this. I think? I'm like pressing buttons to try to help, but I think Edgar's just doing this himself. I'm gonna turn off the radio voice. I'll keep pressing buttons in case it's helping. You got him, Edgar. Kill Jester. Come on, Edgar. All this training I gave you in the house it should be better than this. Oh my god, he sucks. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch the show. We already saw it. Say, you're Nightingale, aren't you? Heard you're pretty tough. Look, I love this job, but they got me doing multiple shows a night. The audience's brains are so rotted they forget they've already seen the show and queue right up again. How'd you like to sub in for a show? Here's the deal. I'll give you one prize ticket for every clown you kill. I'll also give you a bonus of 10 prize tickets if you beat the high score. I'll get you a proper Edgar disguise. The rotten fools won't know the difference. Obviously, it's a bit dangerous, but a girl of your talents can handle it, I'm sure. I'm up for it. Hopefully, dying doesn't mean I, like, permadie. Yeah, good Edgar disguise, mate. Perfect. Good luck out there. Okay. It's me, Edgar. Oh, they killed themselves. Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal. I don't trust it. I gotta heal. Like, I feel like I'm gonna die. For reals, yeah, yeah. This is I. I die if uh, if I if I die as it were. I know that sounds stupid, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be like, oh, you're in an event, you'll be fine. All right, well, we got ten. A new high score, I'm impressed. Here's your prize tickets. Let's see, a total of 20. If you ever want to do another show, just tell me. That was a lot. That was a lot, and basically it just cost me some healing. I could definitely clear the shop out doing that. We have 38. 
Like, I want a dog whistle. Uh, these are, what, 25 each? So we need to do, like, another couple of shows to get those. Clown suit. Do I want to... I don't want to buy the clown suit for the, the japes. I mean, I'm just never going to wear it, is the thing. Here's how I'm going to look at this. If I use two things to buy a scone, I'll find Horace the dog in nowhere. Okay. He's not the strongest, but he's great at sniffing out ghosts and other strange things, which took ownership of him some time back. She enchanted that whistle to always send him back to nowhere. He'll also be whisked away to nowhere if he gets injured. As you can tell from the excellent quality of this cage, we care a lot about Horace. Treat him well. Yeah, you fucking... Whatever. You're contractually obligated to dress as a clown for at least a little bit. I suppose you're not wrong. Tell you what I'll do. I think I've got two play coins left. New high score. 12 tickets. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, they do the makeup and everything. <laughs> Like little cloud makeup on. All right. Ten if I beat the high score. Okay, this is why I bought the scone and um, other thing for, so I'm just going to use them now. I spent my coin to be able to heal off them. We'll see if it's enough to keep me alive. Hopefully it is. It might not be. No, it's definitely not. It's definitely not enough to keep me alive. I have to beat the high fucking score. These assholes aren't letting me beat the high score. God damn it. Oh, what? A new high score. I'm impressed. He gave me nine tickets. He said a new high score. I'm impressed, and it just gave me nine tickets. Dude, are you malfunctioning? Ah, oh, new high score. Here's the less tickets than what I said I'd give you. I don't know if I should keep doing that, because I'm using precious resources. 
Um, I would really like this weapon upgrade kit more than anything. I would like the other thing as well, but I don't know if I've got it in me to, to grind it out. <clears throat> he got that clown in him. Well, I would have been able to afford the other thing, but I had to buy a clown outfit. beat my high score, but I get 10 tickets. Wait, hang on a sec fucking second. Does that Edgar Gear do, like, big damage or something? Oh, it does. Base melee damage is up. This is not where the combat shines, chat, I'll say that much. The combat is pretty simple, so, like, just wailing on a mannequin with two hit move with no, like, heavy attack, like, combos or anything. It's a little rough. Alright. 13 tickets. I think I should have enough. I have 34. If I got another f 16 tickets, I think, I could get this as well. That's right, isn't it? 16? Yeah. Alright, I got a plan. Um, Let's see. Knight's Ring is good. Okay, we'll get off that for a second. Perception and luck, no. Okay, I'm doing an extra 20% melee damage now. That If that doesn't make a difference, I don't know what does. We've got to go for 16 here, so I can buy the other thing and then we can be done. At this point, it's actually like, faster this than it is the clown show thing. What I gotta do is, when, as soon as I see one second left, I need to do a, a heavy attack. Alright, we're currently on for about 12,000. Uh, 1,200, rather. I don't think that's enough. Thirteen, twenty, fourteen. I don't have the money anymore. I gotta go, like, I gotta go beat up some clowns. <laughs> That's the only free way to get tokens. But it also costs me healing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, blah blah blah, something's doing clowns. Come on, dude. Point blank with that shit.
Don't, don't kill. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I don't know if that was a high score or not. He'll probably say it was. A new high score. Here, have 90. <laughs> Son of a I hate this guy. It wasn't a new high score. What a prick. Wow, a new high score. Here, have less. Take it. Bye. Nope. Prizes. Yay! Alright, wonderful. Okay, right. I need to change my ring back over again. There we go. And I want to say, really, I should... Wait, am I done here? I think I might be done here. I'm done on the left side, at least. I've got the right side left to do. I don't know what's over there, but... <gasps> Apparently, Horace is going to be here now. Doggo? <gasps> Doggo. Take Horace with you. Use the dog whistle to return Horace to nowhere any time. I just have a dog now! I have a dog friend! And he can't die. He just comes back here if he gets hurt. So he's forever okay. Oh, this game just got, like, infinitely better. We just have a dog friend now. I wish I had more money so I could buy that stuff. I guess I do have things I could sell. I don't care about that. I don't care about that either. Let's buy those four. A first aid kit, because why not? And a couple of bandages, because we ran out. Right, we're out of money now, but that should be fine, because I can also craft me some, some shit. Doggo friendo, Huey, Brown, etc. Who? Brown? Who's Brown? We're just saying that he's brown. Chamber not powerful enough to harden your body further, sir. Lil Brown from Rule of Rose. Oh. I gotta be honest, I don't think about Rule of Rose a lot. I think that game is interesting because it was like banned, but I don't think it was very good. <laughs> At the risk of, uh, Sounding harsh. Whoa, that four bandages? Listen, it was definitely banned for no good reason. No, no, no. A hundred percent. It was banned for the dumbest reason. It was banned for things that, like, weren't in the game. They misunderstood. And thought it was worse than it was. But... It's still bad. Yeah. Exactly. Still, still not good.
An old shield. Upgrade it. Strange coins and ancient blood 15 for another level. Well, I got the ancient blood, but I don't got the coin. That's okay, we can, uh, we can rectify that problem. It should have either been a better game or just a visual novel or something. Yeah. Yeah. Like I say, it's, uh... It's tough, isn't it? Because... I don't want to, like, be too harsh on a game like that because it was trying... I forgot you exist. Oh, Nightingale, did I trick you? It's me, the last witch. This is another one of my puppets. I used her as a spy in the mansion, but I found her too taxing remotely controlling her from nowhere. I let her get caught by the Wretch King so I help anyone else who got locked up. Yeah, I kind of forgot you were here. You are selling a spell charm. Uh, but yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't want to be too harsh on the game because it was trying something different. But, you know. It did not age well. It aged like bad milk. New sword just dropped? Plus three, plus five, it's got no, no poise. Maybe it's like really quick. It does like a big stab forward. I feel that much quicker than the bayonet. Maybe I prefer the bayonet. Does less damage, less bleed, less poise for slightly faster attack. I don't know if it's worth it. It walks so Haunting Ground could run unless it came out after, I have no clue. Alexa, when did the PS2 game Rule of Rose release? The game Rule of Rose was released 17 years ago for PlayStation 2 on the 3rd of November 2006. 3rd of November 2006. Alexa, when did the PS2 game Haunting Ground release? The game Haunting Ground was released 19 years ago on the 29th of April 2005. Haunting Ground came out first. <laughs> well then. Oh, you know what, though? I'm going to remember the rapier, in, just in case. Maybe... Because, like, I'm never going to use this... Actually, no, I have a slot extra anyway. I was about to say, I'm never going to use that candlestick, but... Maybe the rapier is, like, a better choice, and I just don't know it yet. Um. Okay, what do I want to do? I want to... I mean, apparently, I want to go back here, because... I have not gotten everything in the hallway. I thought I had. I just realized that this dog is not going to get hit by the traps like the other fella did. Because he's too small. He will go directly under them. I, on the other hand, walked straight into it because I always forget it's there. Wait, he got hit by it as well. The f fuck, man? Alright, we got the item, though. Um, okay. That is so helpful. 
so happy we found that item. Jesus Christ. Lab room come back, so examination room might might mother cottage, that's where we need to be. This creepy fucking place. Come, Horace! Let us go! I apologize in advance, Horace, but you're probably gonna be sent back to nowhere pretty quickly. Because we uh we're going to this bog and there was like an enemy in here that killed me. You're in the Cagewood Circus, traveling troop of clowns from Yorkshire. They came to entertain the families left behind by those going off to war. Can't let Jerry take all the joy out of life, can we? Poor souls got pulled in into the dream. Now they're all rotting away. Lovely. Yeah, this bog Horace kind of sucks. There's going to be a big fella jump out of the ground in a minute. Let's get ready for that. I wonder if... Uh, I don't think I can heal Horace. Because I can only use items on myself as far as I'm aware. I actually don't know if Horace helps with enemies. He might not, you know. Oh no, no, yes he does! Oh, he's a... he's a good boy! He's protecting me from the flies! I love this enemy. No! I love the noises this thing makes, it goes... No! Fuck off! Don't hit me, fuck you! Oh my god, right, Horace got sent away already. He's already gone. That's just how much damage this fucking thing does. Oh, good. Thought I was safely far enough away to reload, but I wasn't. I'm gonna use my fucking bullets on this thing, though. This seems like prime time to use bullets and such. I'm the fucking bog monster. He's not even halfway down, chat. There's another enemy coming. Right, I'm out of bullets. But I still really don't fancy getting into melee range with this guy. So I'm just throwing all sorts of shit at him now. Alright, what else have I got? Two throwing knives? I'm sure he'll love those. Right into his bogginess.
All right, now we get in kill. I didn't even get to see what that said, because I can hear another enemy and I'm panicking. Right, I also don't know what he dropped. He dropped a bunch of stuff, I think. Everyone's taking the boat to avoid him. Surely someone will help. Bog Behemoth. Another fly fella? I would love to leave you alone, okay? But you're like... You're in the way and you're, you're being a prick. Me and you could live harmoniously in this world if you just didn't throw flies at me and let me pass. <laughs> flies, me. At least he's polite about it. Would you like any flies? God, do you remember when these were like the scariest fucking enemy that did way too much damage? God, that feels like a long time ago now. Now we kill them in free hit. Creepy doll. I hope the bog behemoth doesn't come back. Gotta be honest. You on fire! This fella on fire! Off. Oh. This one didn't even offer me any flies! Kind of fly lord or whatever the fuck he's called. Do you like? Do you call yourself flies, miss? Damp witch's cottage. Oh boy! I don't like the sound of that. she a fucking ghost witch? There's a second one? Ghost initiate. Oh, I can upgrade a spell here. Let's just keep upgrading Harvest Field, why not? Very good for boss fights. Knight's Armor. Okay. Small, shabby set of armor stolen from Mosson House's collection. Heavy and noisy, but provides excellent protection. Lord Mosson is truly a child in a man's body. You should... More, he should be more worried. He should be more worried about paying taxes for the estate than bolstering his armor collection. He should be more worried. I agree. Mr. Mostyn, sir, you should be more worried. Ah, more ghosts. Go, 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 go. Ghosts. Oh. 
flies. Would you like some flies? Oh, great. See, now you've pissed me off, fly man, because you've gone far back enough that you're making me fight other things. Wait, he died? Oh, he died to the bleeding. How much money have I got now? 138! Jesus Christ, you make a lot of money very quickly in this game, huh? It's gonna be another ghost. Yeah, look at that. Killed them all in one shot. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Tricorn hat. Sturdy tricorn hat from the late 18th century, slightly stained with blood, makes the wearer faster despite its weight. Fool me three times, you're officially that guy. I'm sure some of you will get that reference. Some of you might not. You know the one was fucking... George Old Mountain, my dad knows him. The fuck you. Um, where is this item I'm supposedly missing? I'm looking for like a search prompt as I run past. Search. That's a house, not a search. No search there, there's a hide prompt. We've searched that. Search. Two coins. This bog is fucking long, man. West Valley. Two more slots. I don't know what else I want to remember. Let's remember any grenades I get, I guess. They are strong. No enemies. I'm okay with that. Doesn't open from this side. Okay. Fucking horse. Oh, we're near the entrance hall again. Huh. Mansion front entrance. This is a safe room as well. This is good shit. Night Mother remembers we are her bricks. And such. You can remember another item uselessly. Because you're already remembering everything you want to remember. 
Remember all your empty jars, just in case. This is a very, 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 very good guy to find, chat. Ah, pleasing to see you again. I see you took the train as well. But we kept our relationship strictly professional. Okay, I'm sorry. Doll dress. French hairpins. Permanent cursory. Lantern familiar. Huh. Front door key. Two organ grease. Key to the front door in the entrance hall, slightly bloody, with a repugnant spell. Well, I should probably get this, but I don't have any organ grease right now. Wait, hang on. This is this is prime song chat for the joke. didn't have any percussion so uh, the reason why this guy is so good to find chat is because um, I have things to upgrade my gear with so we are currently rocking the cowboy hat and the gentleman's suit And I can upgrade the shit out of them. I'm assuming we can go more than plus one. That's plus two. Plus three. Okay, it's gone. Plus three seems to be the max. Which I think, given how many I have, means I should be able to upgrade both the hat and coat to max. Yep. That is wonderful. We even still have one left over. Whew. Okay. That's going to be where the key goes. Huh. Let's see what that is, what that room is. Okay, house corridor. I'm gonna go left first because we killed that horse, but um, I don't know what was to the left here. Like, where that can. There's a big clock. I don't know where this connects up to. It could be a dead end. It could be a whole bunch of extra stuff that I need to go explore, so. Burn back Abbey outskirts. What is that noise? What is that fucking Silent Hill drilled shit noise? Uh oh. I don't know how to cure that. I don't know if I can cure that. Sedative? Tea? Oh, no, no. Okay, 
she get it? She get it? Oh, Jesus. King Christ. I'm gonna come back to this. Where does that connect up? Where does this map connect? Where is the next bit of this map? It's here. And that's locked. Okay, so we have literally done... I believe we've literally done all of this now. All of the... Uh, the boat... area. The bog... is done. What's this little spot? That's the labyrinth camp. I actually do need to go there. Um, so that connects to that, I guess. But this is like its own whole fucking thing now. There's like a gatehouse, which is a separate area. I need to find a mirror for that area. I need to go and make organ grease to trade with that fella. For some reason, he's fucking selling and buying stuff in organ grease now, which is very annoying. Because if we just use money, I could buy the key. Wait. Isn't this... Coffin has three locks. Each lock has a covering of human skin. You unlock the coffin, silver covered key, and a skin covered key. I don't have that. Also, not entirely sure I want to unlock it. Oh boy. Every time I think we're done piling on the horror elements. music. <sighs> I need... Uh, like, I guess it's not that bad because I've killed all the enemies. But I need a fucking... I know there's no mirror here, but I need, like, better access to this guy. In the fucking... This dude. Like, I was hoping one of these rooms might have a mirror in it. But... Doesn't appear to be the case. <clears throat> I mean, I can get back there safely. There's no, like, danger involved, so I should just... I should just do it. It's got to be better for me. Alright, wait. You come with. Um, can I make organ grease here? In nowhere? One in the labyrinth can power me up, I believe. Wait, hang on, 
you sell stuff, right? Oh, uh, Marshall not it off. My apologies. Um. Yeah, he does sell like medicinal herbs and shit. And cups of tea. Care about the curse jars. For now, I'm just gonna keep stacking the violence till I feel like I should do otherwise. Alright, we need more ancient blood, which I am getting quite a lot of, but I barely ever use the shortcut thing anymore. It's just easier doing it this way. Good job, boy. He, he actually tried to help me. See that? He, like, ran over to the trap and barked at it. Good lad. Right, I can upgrade with this guy. Question is, do I upgrade the rapier so it becomes a permanent weapon? Or do I just keep upgrading this? I mean, I think I just keep upgrading this, right? Because that shit's like what I'm currently using. Right, now I need to get back to... Now I need to get back to the other area. So this is the Night Mother's... Oops, I've gone the wrong fucking way. This is the Night Mother's uh, cottage I need to go to. Yeah. And then I go from there to... Here. Let me talk to this guy. Get on the boat. Me and the dog on the boat. Have you seen the amazing Edgar? He's a fierce one. Tried to recruit him into the merry band many times. Unfortunately, he's making absolute fortune performing at the circus. Someone would rather live in a gilded cage, I suppose. What is that? Every so often I see something randomly fly away. chat don't like it don't like when like some cloth or hand or something just randomly darts off the screen fuck you bog behemoth you piece of shit you're the reason i died once on today's stream if i hadn't have done that i'd be uh so much better off I mean, admittedly, the lanterns are floating. What are you warning me about, boy? Probably the spectral remains on the floor. So I realise saying flying things is a little bit... ...redundant.
last night after a long walk. Long work evening, I was making dinner, I saw a shadow flit by me on the wall. And I was like, eh, moth, turn around, it's the biggest fucking wasp I've ever seen in my life. My soul left my body, I bet. See, now, my soul would leave my body if it was a moth. As well. I'd just, like, both things would be bad. Wasp is like an attack moth. I was unwell. Yeah, yeah, they are. My major issue with moths is primarily around the fact that, for whatever reason, they like to like fly around and get in my face. That's my main issue with moths. If they weren't all about like getting up in my grill, I could probably like learn to live and let live, but... I don't know why they do that. No, nor do I. Right, I really don't like the idea of going in here, but Horace is with me, so I'm a brave boy. He'll tell me if anything's bad. One, Conceptus. Millie Erwood, the greatest witch, dreamt of exploring the stars. She, yeah, she fucking died. I killed her. Remove the plank. Good job, boy! Yeah, get him! Fuck this crusty mummy up! Skin covered key. I understand what we're doing now. Bloody man, his skin is gone. I don't think those bandages are going to fix him up. All right, here's a question though, chat. What do you think is in the coffin? I reckon it's a bait and switch. I think they're trying to make me think that there's some scary monster in there. Because, you know, it's all like, look at the fucking. Well, I mean, look at the coffin. But I reckon it's an NPC in there and they're lovely and friendly. I reckon it's this guy's owner, maybe. Sacrificium, the largest witches, are skinned so that Millie's journey can commence. Oh, I mean, that did happen. She was like, oh, is that the skin? Oh, I think that might be the skin. Oh, lovely. House residence. I don't, oh, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you want from me, there, game. Free Exodus. Millie sends. Uh, into the stars atop a hot air balloon made from skin. Where is she now? Uh, what was it? It was like... I-S-E? Let me try that. No, it might not have been I. I need to go find out what it was. I'm pretty sure the second one was Sacrificium or something. But this one was Conceptus. C then S E. Let me just double check this was Sacri Sacrificium. Banging. What? <laughs> okay. C S E. Uh, 
There's the last key. You think there's another puppy in here? Well, we're about to find out. Three locks. Yes, unlock. No, it's just an enemy. Some bitch with skin on her face. Well, she's dead now. Bloody apron, permanent light outfit. Bloodstained apron has a surprisingly pleasant odor. Plus, 8% max health, plus 3% poison build up to melee attacks. Okay. Skin mask, yay! 25% less terror build up. Okay. Rival witch, violent. When the first angels arrived, already dead, the bodies were dragged to a secret location. First angel kindling, permanent offering. I'm sorry, you can't just give me that and not tell me what the fuck that is. What is that? Small bundle of sticks and bones radiating cursed energy carried by a secret cult of witches for the unknown pur for an unknown purpose. These sticks don't react to flame. What are they good for? A very good question that I do not think I have the answer for. <laughs> All right, Horace, this is going to be um it's going to be bad for us, okay? Now, I don't want to do this, but I think this will help me get through the thing. So, I'm going to put the skin mask on, okay, boy? I think this is going to help the terror build up. Just so you know, I've not like turned Horace, okay? Yeah, again, boy. Good boy. I almost fell for that. I don't want Horace to fall for that, though. All right, hang on. Son, you need to get this way. There we go. Okay, that's one of them. I don't. Oh no, I got. I definitely got one. Too far. There it is. There are a few ways to set these off, but that's the most reliable I've found. Oh, okay. Well, that's another way to set them off as well, Horace. Just so you know. Just teaching you that lesson. Is to always look at the floor, okay? Always pay attention. And never assume. Okay, we're gonna leave. Didn't like that. Didn't like that, boy. This guy got a fucking... Like, a whole ass... Gravestone he's gonna throw at us. I sure hope that exploded on him. Ah! It did. It did. Horace, don't fight them. Okay, that should still work off screen. This game's pretty good about that. Grave Knight. Emma had the idea first. They make excellent guards. Yeah, Emma did have that idea. I remember having to fucking deal with that. It was horseshit. I hated it. This old cemetery has a mirror. Night Mother Amulet. 
I feel like we're finding a lot of these. Wait, hang on. Wait, how many do I have? Four. No, that's not enough. That guy had another thing. Night Mother's Ring or whatever. I think I needed five organ grease for it. Well, this is probably a boss fight. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Horace, I'm going to send you away. Use the dog whistle. That was a weird <laughs> noise that dog whistle made. <laughs> pew I'm just gonna make some more. What am I doing on ancient blood? It's here, I guess. Ten. That's nowhere near enough. Uh... No, that's the wrong weapon. That one. Okay, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get our boy all freshly healed up. We're going to go to this mirror. I am going to take a quick stop. Over here. I actually don't know if this is the quickest way back. I want to go talk to um, the fella again. I'm collecting quite a lot of them now, so I might as well keep buying these Night Mother instruments for people. And now, I'll tell you what, it's actually now it's quicker to go back. <gasps> Let us see what the fuck is going on over here. This might even be a boss fight. Old cemetery. Oftentimes when these things are here, they are boss fights, so we'll find out. Candle has been lit either way. this fucking lady. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe it's not possible. A visitor from the house. How odd. Welcome to Brynback Abbey. I'm Becca, leader of the Merry Band. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't know her. She looks very similar to another one. We live freely here, away from the prying eyes of the Wretch King. So, I uh, say, you aren't one of his spies, are you? No matter if you are, he knows better than to attack us here, in this holy place. Or perhaps you came to join the Merry Band. If so, you must prove yourself in a series of combat trials. After each test, I'll permanently strengthen your body. Upon completing all tests, you'll become an official member of the Merry Band. Are you prepared for combat? Next battle between giants, yes. Okay, I've got the thing. I've got the thing that stops me from dying, though. So we're good. All right, well, let's get fucking started, shall we? Just kill this lady right away. Horace is not particularly interested in getting involved right now. I don't blame him.
Now he's getting involved. Horace, don't die. I got this, buddy. I got this. Medal commemorating a victory in the Brunback Abbey Arena. Turn in the lead with Mary Band Trixes for a reward. Violence, please. Win your first arena battle. Damn right, I'm gonna remember to fucking light it again. Of witches and knights. Okay, we're gonna go to the witch immediately. Oh, that's a bad knight. I don't like that knight. He's he's a bad guy. They're my least favorite of the knight type enemies. Like I I rolled that man. I don't know what to tell you. Also, I'm pretty sure Horus ate it. Which is to be expected to some degree. I rolled it. I've got. I'm supposed to have invulnerability frames, but I just don't. I'm just gonna have to brute force this. The Great War. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. To be honest, I want them all to get in a big group near me with these type of enemies. For two reasons. One, I'm going to harvest field the floor, but two, they're going to throw grenades. And as you can see... The grenade does way more damage than I can fucking do, that's a damn shit. They're dead. <laughs> Dying to their own grenades. Uh, maybe we start pumping a few points in Jilly. And then we'll get bigger next. This is good. Though we're getting lots of levels here. I'm running down my supplies a little bit, but I'm also getting loads of coins for my troubles, so... Showing promise. Before we do any more arena matches, I have a reconnaissance mission for you. Are you familiar with the amazing Edgar? Not that sad puppet of the Wretch King in the mansion. I'm referring to the iteration of Edgar that performs at the Cagewood Circus in the Valley. I've been trying to recruit him into our merry band. However, I've heard he's taken after those dreadful clowns and become an alcoholic. I'd like you to enter the circus and take a photograph of him for me so I can see whether this is true. Okay, that's an easy mission, actually. I have full access to the circus. Dreadful clowns. I mean, she's not wrong. Also, now I can buy some things that I've just like run through. First aid kits and such. Bye. Buy some cake as well, fuck it. While I'm here. Um, right, where do I want to go? I need to go to the circus. I don't know what the closest one to the circus is off the top of my head. It may well be the Nightmother Cottage again. 
So I think I have to take the boat. I gotta say though, finding that thing that lets me like fast warp has made traversing this game light years better. That doesn't even make sense. Be careful if you ever explore the cage with mad witches abound. Many poor souls to those cages. Each night they wake up, cut themselves to ribbons trying to escape and die again. Skeletons remain now. A mercy. Already, already done it. You see the thing I was talking about that flies off? I don't know what that was. I don't like it. I was just double checking to make sure he wasn't going to be like, what the fuck, bro? Does that count? That definitely counts. And it's got a Horus in it. What a good picture. I did your reconnaissance. Yes. Appears the rumors are true. Those are boring clowns and rubbed off on him. I no longer think he's fit for the band and will cease my recruitment, um, recruitment efforts. You, however, show great promise. We can resume the arena battles when you're ready. Right, I'm going to do one more. I am currently... I see the status effect up there, as I remembered. Butcher's Quarrel. Oh, fuck. This is bad. I don't like this. This is a boss chat from previous chapter. Although, admittedly, I am absolutely fucking destroying him. <laughs> so never mind, it wasn't such an issue. Oh wow, that's nice of uh, that's nice of the game. They're like, you basically should... You, you're kind of fucking up, bro. Go and... Go and activate the shrine. Alright, that was actually a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, so I'm going to do another one. Battling Old Byzantium. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, we gotta go and kill the guy on the left first, because he's the necromancer guy, so if I can get rid of his horse shit, that would be great. There we go. This guy I killed with shotgun before. I have no idea, like, how to fight him. But to be fair, the combat in this game is definitely not a strong point, so it's like, mostly it's just press the button next to them and hope they die. It's more about getting your build right than it is the combat itself. And I definitely think we've stumbled across a good build here with this uh, vampirism. It's doing wonders. Okay, let's start getting a couple points in vigor. I want some extra health. Actual last one. For now, obviously, we'll we'll do more next time we come on to it. Are you ready for combat? The Valley of Horrors. Okay. 
Oh, that guy's got a fucking gun. That's gonna be bad. You hear all the gunshots? <laughs> Jesus, that was like a firing squad. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. That was crazy. That was fucking ridiculous. Continue. I have another mission for you. Before the band was formed, we all worked as hunters. We'd take cable cars to other iterations of the dreams, fill them with organs, and return. We departed from a place called Central Station. One day, with little warning, Central Station was sealed off, and we were told to return to Moston House. Needless to say, being under the Wretched King's thumb was not for us, and so the band was formed. I believe there's still a secret entrance to the Central Station somewhere in the basement of St. Eli's. I'd like a photograph of Central Station so I can see what state it's in. I don't think I found a secret entrance to it, but I certainly think I have access to Central Station. Like it's, um... Un oh no, wait, unless Cable Car Station is not Central Station. In which case, maybe I don't. I mean, there is a secret entrance down here, or like an entrance way that I can't get through, but I don't know how to get through it. Alright, that's where I'm gonna finish up. Um, this game, I thought we were gonna be just doing a little bit of Byzantine fucking labyrinth, and then finishing chapter 3 tonight. But what, what has happened is, the map has drastically expanded, branched out, become different places, gone all over the place, and this game is apparently about 400 times bigger than I thought it was. So, next time, chat, we will continue playing Chapter 3. Now, the only thing with that is, this game is going to be on hiatus after next week. Because the week after that, the 26th, will be... The Jump King Jamboree, and then the month after that will be Spooktober, where I'll be playing Dead Space Remake on Thursdays. So we're going to come back to this, probably having no fucking idea what we're doing, unless I play it off stream. There is a chance I might do that and like just record the rest of it and put it on YouTube or something. I'm not too sure. I guess I'll figure that out myself. But yeah, there you go, folks. That's it. Stream's over. Thank you very much for coming along. Uh, my next stream is on Saturday. We've got um, Persona 3 Reload stuff. I beat the Reaper. Recorded that fight. We're like, we jumped up to level 93 now. We're right there at the end of the game. It might be the finale on Saturday. If not, it'll be the Saturday after. I think. So, you can come and join us for that. But yes. That's it, everybody. Thank you very much for coming along to the stream. And I will see you all again on the weekend. <laughs>